Hello YouTube. Just to show you the um, hydroponic things getting on. There's the container. There's the tomato coming out of it. I've got one that's best part ripe. That's all that's left now. I've picked most of the others. I've got a green one there and a couple of green ones there. Um, this will be coming out of here soon because it's getting that time of year. I've also got the courgette, as you know, starts there, runs up, runs right along to the other end of the greenhouse and we've got a few budding courgettes on there. Yellow courgettes, I don't know if you can see them, I don't know what the light's like in here. Anyway, that's going to be coming out soon as well and what I want to do is be ready for that and put some winter veg in there. So I've got growing in here in this little back bit some of the sprouts that Scott sent me now the plan is to use this container here that I had celery growing in before and another one here that I'm just making get a couple of sprouts going in there and then whack them in there and see what happens to them now, I don't know if it's going to work because when I've planted sprouts before I've started them in March and harvested them around Christmas time so this time I'm going to be starting them the end of August and who knows but we'll see I mean I've got this thing's going to be sitting empty all winter otherwise so I might as well use it right okay I'll bring you back when I'm done so then it sort of struck me you might like to see what the hell I'm about to do so I don't think I can do it one handed because I don't have a selfie stick I don't have a uh, uh, tripod I don't have anything like that but I'm going to show and try and show you what I'm doing. So I've got one bucket there, one container there, filled and the water is just touching the very bottom of the little net cup. So we're going to fill the other one up to that level, which I nearly have. There we go. Now that's just to the net cup also. That's wedged in the bucket. We've cut the plant pots just to stop it falling over. Then I've got these um, foam things and I've got my plants here now the plan is to tease these plants out of here hopefully without damaging them too much so that I'll get the roots now as I say not the easiest job to perform one handed but here goes nothing and there's one it's got a bit of root on it, not much, but it's only little. So what I'm going to do, stick that in there like that. I'll show you what I've done there. So I've stuck it in there. There's the root coming down through the bottom. And then that gets put... Right. That gets put in here, in the net cup. And hopefully that little root will poke through the bottom there which you can't see at all. Right. Plants in. Where's the root? Just... Oh yeah. And there's the root sticking through the bottom. I hope you can see that. So then, it's just a matter of sticking that in there like that so oh, there it is there's the root in the water well nutrients and then I've got some clay to go around that in a bit but I'm just going to try and do that one more time I've got another one hopefully I might be able to show you it a bit easier this time see another one come out here and that will do push comes to shelf right so same same story there's the plant, there's the plant, in the polis, whatever it is, foam, and then here's the uh, net cup, push that right the way in, so there it is in there, and push it down, and through the root comes, well there ain't a lot of root on that, but hopefully it's enough so there's not much plant on that one but there's a bit of root so it goes into there with the root dangling put it in there and that 
is it apart from a few uh, a few of these um, clay pebbles that just hold the plant upright. Well, that's the plan anyway. Let's see if I can do it without mullering it completely. <laughs> it worked well. I might have to bring you back for that. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Not even sure. Let me put some in this one. We'll do this one. And you can see what's going on. I've no idea what the idea of this is. Why you use these. But they all do it. All these guys who do this hydroponic stuff. So they're not staying in these containers, by the way. Um, if I'm even going to get in the bloody container. They're not staying in these containers. They're in them now. And then when that big bin in there is empty, they'll go in there. Just wanted to quickly show you these. This is that tomato that um, I grew from tomato. If you remember, I sliced it and all that, put it on the pot. And it grew. The winds give it a real bad bashing. Look, there's a branch there completely dead. But the plant itself ain't doing too sadly. It's got flowers and so is that one there, which is the same thing. And then I've got another one just over here. I'm not going to show you everything. There's another one here that's doing really well. Loads of uh, flowers. Hopefully that's going to fruit pretty soon. Um, plant's getting enormous. I've let it do its own thing in here, to be honest. And yeah, uh, I've harvested most of my other tomatoes. So I'm hoping to get just a little crop off of this, just to see if it works them same tomatoes I was telling you about that I got from uh, slicing them putting them straight in the pot there's two growing in this hydroponic thing here um, where I had a couple of fowls there's one here which is getting quite big and one over there which is even bigger this one's about to get flowers on it so I might even get some tomatoes off of them as well so yeah it wasn't a bad experiment it seems to have worked. I just want to see what the fruit turns out like now. Okay.